Hi there, everyone, and welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Sarah Newman, and I'm so happy you're joining me for this episode of Saturday with Sarah. Today, I can't wait to show you this classic festive poinsettia die set from our friends at Simply Made Crafts in the UK. This die set has seven elements, which you can die cut from cardstock, pattern paper, or specialty paper, and then layer up to create a gorgeous poinsettia design that works beautifully as a card focal. Now, in today's webisode, I'm going to be working with some of Hot Off The Press's specialty papers, like vellum and glitter paper, as well as pattern paper from the Sparkling Season Paper Pack and matching cardstock set. There are so many possibilities with this classic die design, and I can't wait to get into the projects with you. I'm so glad you're here today, so come play with us. Here again, you can see that beautiful poinsettia die cut from two different shades of red cardstock and then accented with die cut pine bows, also from cardstock. So let's have a look at the process of layering this up. So here are all of the elements just die cut from plain white cardstock. So you can see you've got two larger base pieces that can be layered and offset and then smaller elements to go on top. Plus you've got the center as well as two pine bow accents. Now, when everything is all layered up, it's going to be about three and a half inches. So that gives you a good idea of how things come together. All right, now I'm gonna bring in just a piece of plain white cardstock and we can start with our base piece here. So when I'm layering things up, I'm going to use some of my cosmic acrylic glue and I'm using my little fine tip glue applicator. I love this because it makes it so easy to just get a little dab and then simply place that down, okay? And then I'm going to take another layer of my poinsettia and I've got a contrasting uh, shade of red here. And then just simply offset this. It can go like so. All right, now I've got another layer to go on top. You can see how simple this is. Another little dab of glue. And let's position this here. There's no right or wrong way to offset these pieces, so don't worry about that. It's kind of however you like it to go. Here's my top piece. And again, just a little dab of glue. And we'll position this here. Okay, now for the center, I've got a little tiny element that can go right on top. I'll just put this little dab right in the center and pop this down here. So there we go. Now I've also got two pine bow elements, so different sizes, which is nice, gives you some variety. You can use your acrylic glue with the um, fine tip applicator for this if you want to, and just put a little dab here and there at some of the wider areas or you can also use sticky specs. That's another good option too. So let's see, maybe I want this one to go here. And again, just a little tiny dab. This is where that precision applicator is just really, really great to have. Okay, and then I'll tack that down. And then there we go. I've got my poinsettia ready to add to my card. Now what I like to do is create the poinsettia as it comes and then layer it up as one piece on my card. That just, I find it a little bit easier to deal with. And especially if I want to add it up on foam tape, which is what I did here. So talking about the card design as it is, I've got my front of my card covered with pattern paper from the Sparkling Season set. And then I overlaid a piece of white vellum on top. Then I've simply glued down my pine bow pieces and I put my whole poinsettia together and then added it with some foam tape. This way I can kind of figure out which angle I want it to go and where exactly I want to position it. Now I've got a message here. This is from the Christmas Greetings Dazzle Stickers Collection, which has the sentiments. It also has these little flourishes as stickers too. So that made a nice accent on there as well. Then for my card inside, 
I have some more of that gorgeous pattern paper. I've got another poinsettia that I've built up here and then a dazzle message down at the bottom. Okay, so that is our first card. Let's take a look at another one here. Now, if you want to add a bit of sparkle and shine to your card, try die cutting from specialty paper. So this poinsettia actually looks a bit like a snowflake, and this is a combination of vellum as well as silver glitter cardstock from Hot Off The Press. Again, just die cut and layer. Now for my center here, I'm using crystals in coconut, and these are just easy to glue right down. I'm using my acrylic glue and of course my uh, fine tip glue applicator to get enough glue on there and just add those in the center. So I've got something kind of special and shiny in the middle of that poinsettia. Now I've got my pine bows glued, again, straight down. These have been die cut from green pattern paper, so it gives a little bit of a, um, a different dimension to it. And I've glued them down just at the base of the pine bow so that I've got some um, lift here on my design as well. And I've got this glued down right onto this beautiful pattern paper border here. Then I have a message and some little stars. Those are from the Christmas Tiny Words and Phrases set. Then for the card inside, I have more patterned paper. I've got a bit more vellum on here too, and then a smaller poinsettia made from two vellum pieces mounted kind of offset onto a silver layer. Again, some more pine bows, die cut from patterned paper, and another dazzle message. Here's a fun bendy card design using coordinating cardstock colors and a gorgeous layered poinsettia made from plain cardstock, champagne glitter cardstock, gold metallic cardstock, and with pine bows die cut from hammered gold specialty paper. Now this is also a really wonderful way to incorporate all those smaller bits of specialty paper that you may have saved in your stash if you're anything like me. And the bendy card is a really fun one to make and looks great as a Christmas card design. So let's take a look at that. This is the die that I'm working with. So you can see here, you've got three elements in this set and that's going to come together to create a card that looks like this. Now, the lovely thing about Hot Off The Press, of course, is that they always give you um, your diagrams and your assembly instructions, as well as that card project idea on here too. It's a really simple design to work with, and it's one that I like to use quite a lot. When you die cut your elements, you will have three pieces that look like this. So not only are you getting the outside edge, you will also get any little slits that need to be die cut, as well as um, score lines for folding those tabs. So what I like to do is starting, this is your base piece, starting with the middle layer, which is going to go down first. So what you'll do is tuck this um, little tab into that slot and then use some extra sticky tape to glue this along the back or you can also glue it tucked into the front if you want. Then you're going to take this element and put that in like so, and then adhere that to the back too. So you have a really neat little design here. Now when you're getting ready to mail this, I suggest just untucking those flaps and then it will mail flat if you're going to send it through the post or pop it into an envelope. So here what I've done is die cut from different colors of cardstock from our cardstock pack and then added the poinsettia here just right in the center. And then for my message, I'm using the Merry Christmas Dazzles collection. Super simple to do and I think a really fun way to spotlight a beautiful die cut poinsettia. Okay, I have one more card project to show you. So I'm going to go get my ink pad and blending brush and we'll take a look. You can create a really soft and subtle effect if you die cut your poinsettia pieces from smooth white cardstock and then ink them. So here for my poinsettia, I'm using the red pastel dye-based ink from Hunky Dory, and I added this with a blending brush. 
Then for this pine bow here, I've simply pressed the dove gray ink pad right onto my pine bow die cut piece. And that creates a really soft and pretty, kind of a light greenish effect when you combine it with this pattern paper here. So let's take a look at the process for this. I'm just gonna bring in a piece of scrap paper here and I've got my poinsettia die cut piece. So I'm gonna pop that on top. Working with my red pastel, I'm gonna use a blending brush for this. So all I need to do is get some of this red from the pad, directly from the pad onto my brush. What I'm going to do is start in the center of this piece and kind of work my way out. I always recommend you use a light touch at first because depending on how juicy your ink pad is or how heavy handed you can get with that blending brush, you may end up with a bit more ink than you want. So remember, you can always add more. It's a little tricky to take it off. So I start in the center and I'm working with kind of a circular motion from the center out. And I think you can see how this is starting to show. Okay, move this around here. Get a little bit more ink on my blending brush and continue until I have as much ink on here as I want. Now the key is working in a soft kind of circular motion, gentle so you're not kind of um, pulling around those delicate pieces. And then there we go. So let me scoot this off. You can see my excess. And then you can see how pretty this looks. Now again, I can add more on here if I want to, but I quite like the way that's looking. So I'll make sure and put my cap back onto my ink pad. And then I would just repeat the process with my other elements. Now, what about my pine bow here? Well, I'll bring back in this scrap paper. And again, I'm working with the Dove Gray. Now what I found when using a blending brush, especially on very detailed elements, sometimes I can find myself kind of yanking these little pieces around. So in this case, I just simply took the ink pad and took it straight to the die cut, just pressing this on here like so. And again, as much or as little as you want to. And then when you're done, you'll have a piece that looks like this. Now you can also make sure to go back and do that little element on there, but there you can see you'll have your pieces all ready to be layered up as you wish. So that's how simple it is to create a very soft and subtle effect. So here you can see I've just layered all of those pieces up. For my center, again, I'm using some of the crystals and this time they're in cherry. So I've just simply glued those right in the middle and that's going to give me a pretty and sparkly effect. So here is my dove gray uh, pine bow piece. This pine bow has been die cut from green cardstock. And then I've got everything mounted up. This is done with foam tape onto this beautiful kind of card focal element from the paper pack. So all I had to do was trim that out mount it onto red cardstock. I've added this Noel down here. This is from the Christmas Tiny Words and Phrases set. And then I glued this all to the front of a folded back card design. So it just opens like so. And then on the inside, I have a cutout from the paper pack and some more pine bows to finish it off. Now for my card, my folded card, let me just show you this quickly. Um, I'm starting with my card base. I've got the fold placed here and all I do is simply fold back that front piece to meet the fold of the card and I always like to come in with a bone folder and just really crease that and then I have a really fun folded card design which is exactly what I have used for this. And this is our final card project of the day today. So thank you to our friends at Simply Made Crafts for this gorgeous and versatile die set. I think this is just such a classic design and one that I will be using this Christmas and probably for many more to come. 
And a special thanks to you for joining me today. We're really glad you're here and we're happy you're a part of the Paper Wishes family. Do feel free to leave a comment. We love to hear what you think. Each item can be purchased separately and you can see them below. However, we've also bundled them into a creative money saver just for you. For the money saver, just see this webisode on paperwishes.com. And if you're watching us on YouTube, have a look in the description box below this video. You'll see a link that will take you to our Paper Wishes webisodes page and you can see everything I just mentioned. If you enjoyed our video today, we'd really appreciate a thumbs up. It helps people to find our channel. And don't forget to subscribe. We create three to five videos each week, so there's always something fun to inspire your creative spirit.